A teenager faces charges after Gwinnett County Police say that he brought a rifle onto campus. The incident happened just after a big varsity game at Archer High School Friday night. And that is where Fox 5's Rob Dirienzo joins us live tonight. Rob, you spoke with a student who was at that game. That's right, and the Archer High School students tell me that they were just celebrating after they won that uh, high school football game. And in the middle of the celebrations, the school resource officer says that he spotted that man with the rifle walking through the school parking lot. And a dude had a rifle or two handguns. Frightening moments after a football game at Archer High School against Shiloh High on Friday night. Gwinnett County District officials say the police told the guy to drop the rifle, and he did. That's when they found the other two guns. They placed him in custody, and then upon a search, they found uh, a couple other extra weapons. It was our first win, so everybody was there. Junior Malachi Farron says he went home a little while before the officer spotted the man. I left immediately after the game. Like, people, a lot of stuff, incidents come after the game, especially nowadays. A lot of crazy things been going on at the school. Someone brought a gun to school before. That gun incident was last month. District officials identified this suspect as 19-year-old Brian Garfield Fort. They made it clear he is not an Archer High student. Crazy, man. I feel like it should be more protection, I guess, because anything could have went down. A lot of people was out here because the band was performing that night. It's not clear what the man was doing on school property or if he has any affiliation whatsoever with the school, but they tell us their criminal investigation is not over. In fact, they say their safety plan worked. And it's unfortunate that this type of thing happened, but we look at this as a positive situation in that that our SROs did what they're trained to do, and they did a great job of identifying a potential threat and then neutralizing that threat, and no one was hurt. And district officials say bringing a gun to campus is not only against their policies, but also very illegal. Fort is now facing charges of possessing a firearm on school property. Live in Gwinnett County, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.